I like to think of what God is doing in the world as a story, a story that's told from Genesis to Revelation. The center of that story is the person of Jesus Christ. Everything that comes before leads to him. Everything that follows flows from who he is. For over 2,000 years, followers of Jesus Christ have gathered together in various places in order to remember God's story. These distinct acts, which we call worship, transcend time and place to unite individuals of many cultures into a larger community of faith. Worship is our turning ourselves, our hearts, our minds, all of our being toward God. In worship, I recognize God for who God is, supremely powerful, present in every place, all loving, all knowing, all merciful, and in God's incredible power and greatness, His love, I am privileged to come before Him. The practice of worship is as rich and limitless as the human imagination. From scripture, sermons and creeds, to baptism and the Eucharist, from music, art and drama, to prayer, contemplation and ministry, the very act of worship is by nature both fully human and fully divine. Well, it's through worship, you are humbled, but you are exalted, you're thrilled by having a hope of glory. What have I to look forward to? More of the same that I've already enjoyed and better. Christian worship is unique because it centers on the story of Jesus Christ, from his birth and early ministry to his death, resurrection, ascension, and second coming. It is a story that has moved and transformed many generations of the faithful who have found meaning and fulfillment in its practice. You could look at Jesus and from one angle you could say, oh look, that's a pretty decent carpenter from Nazareth. But you could look at Jesus from another angle, the angle of faith, and you'd have to want to say with the centurion, oh look, uh, this man was truly the Son of God. It's the same challenge in Christian worship. You can look at it from one angle and go, oh look, big pulpit, big pulpit presence, big choir, big choir loft, that's all that there is, just what my eyes tell me. But to actually look at Christian worship and to see there the kingdom of God, to see there uh, the active presence of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, to see there who we are as the bride of Christ, the body of Christ, to be able to discern deeply, that's the recurring challenge. Or a Christian worshiper. A history of Christian worship, Ancient Ways, Future Paths, is a series of six one-hour episodes exploring the story of Christian worship. Each episode examines various aspects of worship practices that celebrate the story of Christ. Join us on a journey from Ancient Ways to Future Paths as we discover a history of Christian worship.